There are thousands of frustrated flyers after Southwest Airlines canceled nearly 2,000 flights over the weekend. Among those passengers, a D.C. woman who says she got little help as she and her husband struggled to find a new flight back home. News 4's Darcy Spencer spoke today with her and joins us live. Darcy, what was the problem here? Well, Jim, this is really creating a lot of inconvenience for thousands of people relying on Southwest Airlines this weekend, including that Northwest D.C. couple. They were just trying to get home from California, and it turned into a bit of a nightmare. Now, take a look at all of the cancellations on the board here at Reagan National Airport. We see canceled Southwest flights from various cities, including Las Vegas, Fort Lauderdale, Dallas. That's just to name a few. The airline is confirming 1,800 flights were canceled just this weekend. 27% of their flight schedule canceled just today. Now, Southwest is blaming the problem on air traffic control issues and bad weather conditions. Now, let's hear now from that D.C. woman who had to book flights on another airline to get home. They paid a premium to do that. There were people sleeping on benches, like sleeping on the side of like walls. The counter was like another line round the block, round the counter. It's basically like they, they say, okay, your, your flight is canceled. You figure it out. Now, obviously, it was very difficult for them, also difficult for them to see the other people basically laying around the airport. They're hoping that this can be uh, settled quickly to help people. They were able to get home, but they still haven't gotten their bags. Southwest Airlines apologizing for this and asking for patience as they work through this backlog. Jim, back to you. Tough weekend for so many. Darcy Spencer. Darcy, thank you.